Hi, I'm Solar Loon, and this is part 7 of my tutorial series on how to use Sunbox. This one will cover basic usage of the sampler and an effect that goes well with the sampler. Now, what we're going to do is just right click and create a new sampler and connect it to the output. And now we're going to click load to load in a sample. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically get a sample to adhere to our song's BPM. So uh, that's the sample. So we're going to put it down here and here. So as you can hear and see, it doesn't stretch all the way to the end of every 16 bars. It's it's too fast. We could speed up our, our song, but say we don't want to speed up our song, but we like the drum beat and want to have it in our song. So we want to have this faster drum beat in our slower song. We want to slow down the sample. So the way to do that is to use the seven um, effect number seven, which is set sample offset by a percentage. And so we're going to use this, and now the fast way is just going to uh, select the row, click and drag, select the row, right click, go into edit, and then click uh, duplicate, and it'll drag it all the way to, make it duplicate it all the way to the bottom. And so we'll only use the 16 and we'll copy it and put it again. So we're just going to put it down to 8,000, which is the end of the um, sample. This is working on a percentage basis. So 0, 0, 0, 0, you can't, it's not there because it's all zeros. But uh, zeros is the beginning of the sample and 8,000 is the end of the sample, 0 to 100%. So we're going to click and drag and uh, to the 8,000 mark and then go into edit and select interpolate control values and copy and paste it. Now if you noticed, um, this still has a little bit of lag. The, this is because 8,000 is the 100% mark and so it's kind of useless to have that line there. So what we're going to do is instead push it to 7,777 the, the uh, next to last note, next to last line, and so we're going to copy and paste that instead. It's, it's pretty good. Now what's good about this is that by doing, uh, using it this way, we can speed up or slow down our song, even dynamically, and it will adhere. at least to a reasonable degree. What's also good is that we can even s use higher pitches which will play faster, but because we're triggering, triggering the samples uh, manually, it will again adhere uh, to a reasonable degree. Okay, so obviously the, the higher samples play faster and so it's more likely that it won't sound as good, but the low samples uh, play slower and so you can usually get a pretty nice sound out of it. In addition to the, both of those things, you have these little controls on the sampler. This, uh, the interpolation, uh, volume and panning, you know, you know what those are and, and polyphony as well. But interpolation controls how well the sound, uh, sample is played, you know, whether it's played smoothly or if it's kind of digitized and crackly, which is with interpolation off. In certain samples, it's a slight difference. In others, it's a big difference. So I just wanted to add that in there, too. Okay, well that was part 7 on how to use the sampler module. Um, there's a lot more in there, so I'll probably get to it later. But um, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you, well, I'll <laughs> give another tutorial that you'll watch. Uh, thanks for watching.